You know, every great war produces its great hit songs. And after each war, we like to gather around the piano or the guitar and play these songs. Uh, we enjoy the songs because they remind us of how much we enjoyed the war. <laughs> now, World War III is almost upon us, as you know, by uh, popular demand, it seems. And uh, it occurred to me that if any songs are going to come out of World War III, we better start writing them now. <laughs> so I have one here. This is, uh, this is a song that some of the boys will have sung to their mothers as they will have gone bravely off to World War III. There's one reference in here that I should explain. There is a reference to our leading television news commentators, Chet Huntley and David Brinkley. I feel that this is appropriate because, as you know, World War III will be the first world war to be seen on television. <laughs> and. Uh, I certainly hope that we all have color television by then. So long, Mom, I'm off to drop the bomb, so don't wait up for me. But while you swelter down there in your shelter, you can watch me on your TV. While we're attacking frontally, watch Brinkley and Huntley describing contrapuntally the cities we have lost. No need for you to miss a minute of the agonizing Holocaust. Yeah! Little Johnny Jones, he was a U.S. pilot, and no shrinking violet was he. He was mighty proud when World War III was declared. He wasn't scared, no siree. And this is what he said on his way to Armageddon. So long, Mom, I'm off to drop the bomb, so don't wait up for me. But though I may roam, I'll come back to my home, although it may be a pile of debris. Remember, Mommy, I'm off to get a commie, so send me a salami and try to smile somehow. I'll look for you when the war is over, an hour and a half from now.